Mathematicians are always looking for patterns even in the irrational numbers. Irrational numbers don't repeat or terminate but form certain patterns sometimes. Or else, it is just a random number. Let's discuss properties of irrational numbers. Every decimal representation is a number. If the representation is finite or recurring, the number is rational. And if it is infinite and non-recurring, then the number is irrational. For example, the representation of the square root of 3 up to the 15th decimal place is square root of 3 is equal to 1.73205080756887. Note that up to the 15th digit there are no signs of recurrence. As square root of 3 is an irrational number, its decimal representation is bound to be non-recurring. The ratio of the circumference to the diameter of the circle, which is equal to pi, is also an irrational number. Its decimal representation up to the 14th place is pi is equal to 3.14159265 234375. Two irrational numbers can be added or one can be subtracted from the other, but the result may or may not be an irrational number. Example, it can be proved that the square root of 2 plus square root of 3 is an irrational number. But obviously, square root of 2 plus minus square root of 2 is equal to 0 is a rational number. We can definitely say that the sum of a rational and an irrational number is irrational. That is, if x is rational and y is irrational, then x plus y is irrational. For if x plus y were rational, then y is equal to x plus y minus x. Being the difference of two rational numbers must be a rational number. Similarly, if x is rational and y is irrational, then x minus y is irrational. If x and y are irrational numbers, the product x into y may be rational or irrational. If x is equal to square root of 2, and y is equal to square root of 3, then xy is equal to square root of 6 is an irrational number. On the other hand, if x is equal to square root of 2 and y is equal to square root of 8, then xy is equal to square root of 16 is equal to 4 is a rational number. If x and y are irrationals, then x upon y may also be rational or irrational. If x is rational, x not equal to 0 and y is irrational, then xy and x upon y both are irrational. While calculating the circumference or area of a circle or the side of a square, given its area, we use the irrational numbers like pi or square root of 2. Many times we use a rational number which is near to the irrational number instead of the irrational number. For example, we use 22 upon 7 in place of pi. As we have noted earlier, pi is equal to 3.14159265 and so on. Whereas 22 upon 7 is equal to 3.142857. Thus, pi is not equal to 22 upon 7. But 22 upon 7 is quite near to pi. Such a substitution definitely gives rise to an error. But this error is negligible in most of the practical calculations. 22 upon 7 is called an approximate value of pi.
In this video, we studied about many properties of irrational numbers. Every decimal representation is a number. If the representation is finite or recurring, the number is rational. If it is infinite and non-recurring, then the number is irrational. The sum of a rational and an irrational number is irrational. The difference of two rational numbers must be a rational number. The difference between a rational number and an irrational number must be an irrational number. The product of two irrational numbers may be rational or irrational. If x and y are irrationals, then x upon y may also be rational or irrational. If x is rational, x is not equal to 0 and y is irrational, then xy and x upon y both are irrational. There are many patterns discovered in numbers by many mathematicians. Can you search for more such patterns discovered by mathematicians? To learn more, keep watching our next videos. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.